Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and late yesterday, Apple released iOS security response 16.4 a, this will show up if you're a developer or beta tester and you've already installed iOS 16.4 developer beta two or iOS 16.4 public beta two. Then after that, you'll actually see this update option in your software updates. And you can actually see that here. So you do need to be a developer or beta tester to actually install it. But if we go to software update, wait for it to run, it's not installed on the iPhone 11 just yet, you can see that it, you can install it now. Now it's about 20 megabytes or so 20.9 on the 14 pro max and 21.2 on the iPhone 11. So in order to install it, we'll just go ahead and download and install, put in our passcode. Now it says it's requested. We'll just let that run in the background for just a moment. And this particular update is for security updates only. So this is going to be something that Apple can push out in the future to those on public versions, such as iOS 16.3, instead of maybe pushing an iOS 16.3.1 or iOS 16.3.2, those point updates could go away in favor of new security response updates. So if we go to Apple's security website, typically in the future, we'll actually see that added here with whatever those security updates are, what they have inside of them and what they're actually fixing on our device. So those are what we'll see in the future from this, but currently what it does as far as what's new on iOS 16.4 with the security response update, well, that particular update is just for testing purposes. Again, Apple has done this for the second time. Really? They did this in earlier betas this year, as they have the new security response update options under general and then software update, go into your updates and you'll have security responses and system files. So we still haven't seen this roll out to the public yet, but I wanted to let you know that this one is still a test one. It's meant for those that have mobile device management networks where they're pushing a bunch of different updates over their network, maybe installing them on company devices. It's for them to test, to make sure that these security response updates actually work. So there's actual things that they can test, but there's nothing new contained within it. So maybe that's why it's so small or it may just be taxed so it could be small in general. So that's what these updates are all about. And right now it's for testing purposes. Now I do expect a new one next week. So we might have another one, maybe iOS 16.4 security response update B or something along those lines, Apple will continue to push these as testing continues to make sure things are working properly. So let's see if we've got this installed yet. We'll see what it says. It says preparing security response. Let's give it just a moment to install. And then I'll show you what it looks like after it's installed. The phone rebooted. I put in my passcode. It doesn't take long to install these security updates. And if we go into settings, go to general, then software update, we can actually see that it's installed. It says 16.4 a in parentheses. Now you can uninstall this as well. If you're testing it out, whether that's on a mobile device network, or maybe just on your personal phone, you can actually remove this. You can go to settings, then go to general, then about. If you tap on the build number, you'll see here that you can actually remove the security response update. So it says rapid security response 16.4 a there's the build number of two zero E seven, seven, five, two, two, three, zero F you can remove it and then it will remove. Then you can reinstall it later if you want to do that. So like I said, this update doesn't contain any specific fixes. They'll push those in the future, probably in place of a 0.1 update 16.4, maybe then a security response instead of 16.4.1. So they can use that to more rapidly push those out, have them install quickly, and then we won't have an issue. One thing I would love to see is the ability to quickly not only remove this, but maybe roll back to a previous version. I doubt we'll ever see that, but maybe we will in the future. So I just wanted to make this video to let you know about the security update and that it's just a test file again, like we've had so far, hopefully we'll have some with more fixes in them in the future. If you found anything else though, with iOS 16.4 betas or anything else you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. Just a quick question. Do you prefer these quicker videos or do you like the more lengthy videos that could go 15 minutes or more? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.